Hi, my name is Jake Jacobuski, and I'm going to show you how to make money servicing aluminum style doors and using uh, pivot deactivators in the service and maintenance of those doors. Uh, this is a workable solution for a common or prevalent problem and it allows you to deactivate pivots on overhead concealed closures and uh, concealed floor check closures without replacing the closure itself. Uh, generally there are three ways you will find an aluminum style door hung. Uh, with butt hinges, uh, you cannot use a pivot deactivator with butt, butt hinge doors. Uh, to correct a butt hinge problem, uh, you must use a geared continuous hinge. Uh, the other way is with an offset pivot hinge or as a uh, center hung pivot configuration. Okay, this, this is a butt hinge and this is a offset pivot top and bottom and this is a concealed sidearm uh, with a concealed overhead uh, closer. This is another style of uh, uh, offset pivots. Uh, you've got the bottom door portion of the hinge, you've got the top door portion and the frame portion. Now on the bottom portions uh, you have a, a frame or threshold or frame uh, portion uh, which I do not show here. Uh, this is an intermediate pivot hinge and is most uh, often found on aluminum style doors over six or seven foot six inches tall and weighing more than 300 pounds. This is an Aldora style replacement door portion and bottom pivot hinge. Uh, you don't find too many of these uh, but they're still there and every now and again you'll run across one and need to repair them. Butt hinge doors will always be hung uh, as single acting doors. Offset pivot uh, hung doors will always be single acting doors and center hung doors can be either single acting or double acting. Now center hung doors have top and bottom pivots too however a center hung door uses a bottom pivot that is similar to the one shown below. Now this may be a better example of a bottom uh, a center hung pivot uh, although this pivot will allow the door to function as a double acting door this particular door we were working on was a single acting. What does the center hung uh, pivot tell you about the door you're working on? Well, it says that the door can swing both ways. The door has either an overhead or a, a closure or a concealed floor check. Uh, the overhead concealed closure will be either an end load or a side arm load. This is an example of an end load, and this is a retaining block. There's two screws that hold this against the arm itself. Uh, it's an end load pivot arm on an overhead concealed closure. Note that the retainer cap is secured to the end or back end of uh, the arm, thus the term end, clo end load closer. This is an example of a side arm closer on an overhead concealed closer. Side arm load uh, simply means that the arm is attached to the spindle by means of a side retaining cap, which is right here. Now typically uh, this is a center hung floor check or it can be an offset uh, closure as well uh, depending on how it's placed in the floor. In the photograph to the left the closure is shown with a pivot deactivator uh, on the sleeve and bearing on it and the photograph to the right uh, shows the deactivator being placed over this. Now, the first step in to installing a national door pivot control deactivator is to remove or disconnect the closure. This is an offset hung door uh, and has a uh, intermediate pivot on it because of its height. Uh, the door is over seven foot six inches tall. Uh, Jeff Hales of uh, National Door Controls is removing the screws that secure the pivot to the door and the frame and of course uh, those screws have to be removed in order to take the door down. Here uh, Jeff is removing the screws that hold the top pivot, the frame portion, to the frame and this uh, highlights the top pivot screw removal. Now here we're lifting the door off of the offset pivot and we're going to uh, have to do some work on this and show you why here. Notice the washers and the sleeve, uh, someone had tried to fix this door in the past and use a piece of tubing and servo washers to raise the door to keep it from dragging on the threshold. Uh, you can see the drag marks there and uh, that's one of the reasons we were called in to do this job is because this door was still dragging. Okay now we've uh, ex uh, exposed the original pivot and we've installed some national door control uh, washers 
and that will hold the sleeve up and then the bearing goes on top of this. This is NDC, a National Door Control sleeve end bearing. Here the deactivator pivot and bearing are placed over the spindle. Jeff Hale's putting the uh, finishing touches on the door that he installed the NDC uh, uh, pivot deactivator on. Here's some miscellaneous uh, door hardware you're going to find in aluminum style doors, particularly uh, closure arms, closures, uh, stops, uh, various types of adjustable and dual purpose bottom fitted sets, etc. Now, my book, Aluminum Style Door Service and Repair, uh, will carry a lot more information about pivot deactivators and other service and repair procedures for aluminum style doors. Now, that's Aluminum Style Door Service and Repair. And the exciting thing about it is it's now uh, available as an ebook. It is instantly downloadable to your hard drive in a complete and unabridged e version for only $9.99. Uh, that's all 423 pages, 758 photographs and illustrations. Uh, there's nothing left out here. It's just an electronic file uh, that is downloaded directly to your hard drive uh, and for only $9.99. Uh, for more information on this great money making and time saving book, uh, visit uh, Aluminum Style Door Service and Repair, www.aluminumstore.serviceandrepair.com.